Well, hello there, and today we'll be covering the top five GeoGuessr tips for Hawaii and the atolls. Tip number one. Hawaii interstates will always have the H at the front, which is unique to Hawaii. It also has a unique state highway shield marker, which looks like an upside down plectrum or in other words, a dodgy looking egg. This is also unique to Hawaii. And also we have the thick yellow rectangular plate on most of the poles. And this is very common for Hawaii. In Kauai, it is very common to come across these almost California-like golden strips. But the main difference is you will only see two and you will also occasionally have a third gold strip. But that plate is a different shape and it's also facing a different direction on the pole but i've only seen it on this island so if you see that go this island tip number two there are only three islands in hawaii that have generation for coverage this includes the main island oahu and kahalui tip number three if you have this massive wide blur and you know you're in hawaii you should only go on this island at times you'll be able to see parts of the vehicle such as here and you can occasionally come across this weird car glitch that you see in this example. Be aware that you don't always get this vehicle on this island, you do get trekkers. And if you are interested in trekkers, a great way to separate this island from the other ones is you get a lot of these tall orange posts or sticks along the public paths. So be aware of that. That is a great way to identify the island as well. Tip number four. My final tip for Hawaii is practicing. If you practice and have a good go at all the islands and get used to the coverage, it is much more easier to remember it that way purely by instinct. I'm going to cover a few examples that were shared by GHK. So a big shout out to him and his channel. The first one we have here is the interstate of the H3. And the best way to identify it is you've got the dual carriageway, but you've also got a very green and lush environment. And it's quite unique. You don't really get kind of this super green on dual carriageways that often in Hawaii. My next road I would recommend getting familiar with is the main road that goes through the middle of the main island. And I've put four pictures in this example. And as you can tell, it has a very volcanic feel on the one below and it's kind of similar to the left of the left of us where you kind of got that kind of like volcanic feel on the road but you've got these kind of greenish and tall grass environments as well so it's worth learning it is generation four as well uh, which you probably won't get you probably get similar roads like this on other islands but you won't have the generation four so I would definitely recommend looking at this road further if you want to get better at Hawaii. This is my third and final example I recommend learning uh, to anyone who's interested in Hawaii. And it's probably my favorite one because these are very unique, like lava rock formations next to the road. And you pretty much find it all the way across, especially the road going to the southeast. You get it a lot. The southwest, it, you don't really get it as often, but you can see traces of it. But main island again around that national park definitely have a look it's very memorable and it's one of my favorite roads on GeoGuessr. so definitely check it out in your own time it's all about time and dedication when it comes to learning islands whether it is hawaii or any other one so i recommend just giving it a further look in your time and i'm sure you'll nail it in a couple of weeks tip number five we are now moving away from hawaii and looking at the atolls and Midway Atoll is the most well-known one, so I'm going to quickly cover it for any of you guys who don't know where it is. You can locate it um, northwest from Hawaii, so it's quite far away. It's not super easy to find, but if you know where Hawaii is, you're not too far away. And the best way to identify this is most of the coverage is like on an airstrip, and you get a lot of these blue-footed boobies, and the, in other words, but the bird species, if anyone questions that, but that's the name of them. There are probably other species on this island as well, I'm pretty sure. But the combination of these bird species on an airstrip with Generation 2 camera feels super flat, very remote on an island. You should be in Midway at all, especially when you're playing on the competitive leagues. There are other examples which we'll cover in the bonus tips, but I have not seen those in the competitive series or the competitive weekends. 
but I still would suggest learning them just in case they decide to mix it up a bit in the future. Bonus tips. Right here, so for these bonus tips, we're going to be starting at Midway Atoll, which we showed previously, and we're going to be heading further east. And the very first island you will come across, I think it's called Southeast Island. My eyes are a bit dodgy at the moment, but the best way I can identify this from the others is you get a lot of these skinny and elegant seabirds, and these are a group of birds called terns. And there are a lot of them on this island. You can see them on the other islands as well. But this is the first island that has official coverage that is east from Midway Atoll. The next island is quite far away. You have to go pretty south to come across this one. And it is called Lysiansky Island. And you pretty much are always on the actual coastline, the stride line of the beach. You're not really that far inland, but you will come across similar bird species as of the other atolls. This is further east from the previous one, and it's called Laysan Island. And unlike the other one, we can actually go further inland. And this is what it looks like when you're more inland. A similar bird species, similar species you'll come across in all the atolls. But like I say, if you have a quick look around this environment, you'll probably learn and get familiar with it very quickly. Now, this island is getting pretty damn close to Hawaii. So there is only one other island that is slightly closer. But this is actually on, an, uh, this is actually on another airstrip but you see a lot more birds. So pretty much on the right, we've got a lot of those terns that are all resting, but we also have a mixture of different other species that we find on all the other atoll islands. And this is very distinctive and I recommend learning it in your own time. It will only take a few minutes to get familiarized with what it looks like, because it's literally a very tiny island. And yeah, um, pretty interesting location. Now we're at the most Eastern atoll before we reach Hawaii. And this is, in terms of official coverage, there may be unofficial coverage on an, a random atoll somewhere, but the East Island is the most eastern one to come across. It's not far from the previous one. And it's similar to the other one, just I feel like there's not as many turns that you'll see on this one, but the main difference is you see that kind of rock further out. It's quite distinct. I don't really see that. That's how I remember this one. But like I say, it's more for fun, these bonus tips. You never know what geoguessers will do. They may introduce some of these these trekkers to make things more complicated other than midway at all. I think it'd be a nice twist of things because we have been getting it quite a lot in the um, competitive side or the multiplayer side of geoguessers. So hopefully we can see more of these trekkers get a spotlight in the future to just to mix it up from the same midway at all location and yeah that is all thank you so much for watching and the next tip video will be on canada and we'll see you in the next one yeah of course man